Okay, crew. The title is not going to be on here. I'll write it on my whiteboard of what I would like your title to be. Your title is going to be Is My Estimate Higher or Lower Than My Actual Number? That's going to be your title today. Is my estimate higher or lower than my actual number? Some of you saw this phrase of is my estimate tricky yesterday when we were doing our rounding order problem. <laughs> what is an estimate? When I say is my estimate higher or lower, what am I what am I really talking about? I say what am I talking about there? Number of yeah, my close to number. So if I did some rounding, it's that rounded number that I came to. My estimate is my close to number after rounding or doing another form of estimating. Mm -hmm. So that estimate is a noun, it's a thing. That number after I did some rounding. So maybe my actual number was 41. My estimate might be 40 because that's what I rounded it to. That's the number I'm then talking about. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yep. Okay. All of our estimates are either higher or lower than our actual number. All of them. And that can change things. Right? Let's pretend Gwen and I are going shopping, we've got our budget, and we say, okay, we've got our budget of $50. We go out and we spend $43. I might say we spent about 40 is that higher or lower than what I actually spent? Lower. lower. So if I go home and I tell my mom, hey, mom, me and Gwen spent about $40. Is she going to be happy or sad when she only gets $7 back? Can I tell you what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like we need to pay attention. Are we going higher or lower? If I say that I need to order about a hundred pieces of floor, but actually I need a hundred and seven, is that going to cover my floor? Most of it. It's going to cover most of it, but it's not going to cover all of it. So I need to figure out my estimate and whether or not that's going to be higher or lower than what I actually need or what I actually have. Alright, so let's look at this example. It says JoJo scored 194 points during the basketball season. What is 194 rounded to the nearest 100? Go ahead and do that in your notebook. You don't have to write the problem, but go ahead and solve 194 rounded to the nearest 100. Excuse me? Rounded means we're finding a close to number, and we are finding a close to number that's a multiple of 100. So it's what we've been doing the last couple of weeks, love. I'm seeing a lot of number lines. If we're going to round, we're going to need to know what is our close.
closest number. What's going to be the starting point on my number line if I'm rounding 194 to the nearest hundred? What do you think, Victor? Lower. Lower. Some of you wrote higher. 
zero is your estimate. That means the estimate is lower than my actual number. to the nearest 10, what numbers would round to 20? If I was rounding to the nearest 10, what numbers would round to 20? How can I figure that out? How am I going to figure that out? Michael? Yeah. 17? Put it on there. 
We know 17 closest number is 20. That'll work. What else is another number that would round to 20 as the next close to number? What? 16. 16. Let's put it down. Close to number is 20. That works. John? 19. That's a close to number of 20. That works. Right here? So, not on this number line, but keep that in your head. 18 on this number line will work. Anything else? Oh, yes, yes. Logan? 15. 15, because remember, if it's in the middle, it'll definitely go up to that biggest number. So all of these numbers will round to 20. Those are all the numbers that are less than 20. But remember we talked about earlier that numbers can be bigger than 20 and still round to 20. Let's make another number line because I love that strategy. But this time, I want to look at numbers bigger than 20. So I'm going to start my number line at 20 and then go to 30. Because I want to check and see are there numbers that are bigger than 20 that are going to also round to 20. Before we do that, then we need a midway point. What is our midway point, Ashlyn? 25, very good. On this number line, what would be a number that would round to 20? Victor? 26 is over here. Is that going to round to 20? 28. 28's over here. 28 going to round to 20? 20's on that side. So all of these numbers are on this side. We want numbers that are going to be close to 20 on this number line. Elena, go ahead, love. 21 will work because 21 is super close, and I know that it's going to round back to 20. Well, 22 will work. Any other? Seven? Three will work. Less than 100, 
I'm going to need my number line to probably start at 90 and then end at 100. Because that number line is going to have numbers that are less than 100. And then I'll be able to tell if they round to 100. 100 is the close to answer. Check them for throw away your breakfast. The opposite will be true. If you want numbers that are higher than 100, I'm going to start my number line at 100, and then end it at 110, because my number line is still only 10 numbers long, and that'll help me find all the numbers that are actually bigger than 100, but round to 100. What is the number that is actually less than 100? That is close to 100. You know what I'm saying. Shut up. Just think. What is the number that is less than 100 but close to? Ellen? Super close to 100. Just 90. That is going to definitely round to 100. So one of my numbers that rounds to 100 is definitely 99. Are there any other numbers that are less than 100, but 100 would be a close to number, Lincoln? 98. Anything else? Seven? Ninety-seven. Anything else? Michael? Ninety-five. Ninety-five is a tricky one because it is going to round the higher endpoint of 100. Sean? Ninety-six. What about ninety-four? Would 94 work? No. No. Because no. 94 is going to be over here. It's going to round to 90, not 100. So those are all the numbers that are less than 100 that round to 100. What about numbers that are bigger than 100? Are there numbers that are larger than 100 that do round to 100? Brandon, you should probably be copying this since you didn't have it in your notebook. So then pay attention. A good way to show me you're paying attention is to look at me or to look at the board. Elena, can you think of a number that is larger than 100 that would round to 100? 109 right here? That's going to round to 100? Ooh, not 109. That one would round to 110. I want a number that's going to round to 100. 101 is right here. Is that going to go to 100? Yeah. Jackson, can you think of another number? Any other number, Shelby? Any other numbers? No. What about 105? No. no. 105 would round to our bigger number. So we have 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, and 104. All will round. To 100. So that makes sense. Kind of. Sort of. Alright, this one's going to be a little bit.
If I was rounding to the nearest hundred, that means my number line is going to be a hundred numbers long. What numbers would round to 200? Gwen said a lot of numbers. Gwen, why do you say a lot of numbers? Can I do that like all the tens and all the ones? It's not good. But like only you can have up to like three, up to four. Three hundred forty. Yeah, it is gonna be more than a two digit number. Let's draw a number line. Harper, right, this one's going to be a little different because this time, oops, I'm going to start at 100 and I have to go 100 numbers. So 100 to 200. That's a lot of numbers. What's my middle? What's my middle? Right on. What is going to be a number that is smaller than 200, because all of those numbers are smaller than 200, that will round to 200? Harper? 150. That is one of my numbers that will round to 200. Can you think of anything else? Do you have anything else? Show me. 140. Is that going to round to 200? Oh. I need a number that rounds to 200. What do you think, Ashlyn? 160. Be right here. That'll work. Jackson? 190. 190. That lives right here. That'll work. 180. Right there. That'll work. Sweat? 199, but also 170. 199. That'll work. Michael? 177. That'll work. Seven? What? 170. number line. What is, what is my number line going to look like if I want numbers that are larger than 200? Oh, um, under 200 at the left of the 400 at the right. And then the 200. All right, go see if you can find some numbers that will round to 200 that are larger than 200. Go ahead and write some on your notebook. I'm not expecting all of them because Gwen's right, it is a lot of numbers. So go ahead and write some of them. All right, what are some numbers that we came up with? I want a number that is larger than 200, but does still round to 200. Harper? 142 is not going to 242 is going to be about there. Yeah. That'll go back to 200 as a close to number. Awesome. Ella? 222. Be there ish. Rounds to 200. Awesome. Gwen? 201.3. 201.3. Still going to round to 200. Ashlyn? 202. Still going around to 200. Lincoln? Um, 204. Still going around to 200. Elena? 